Hello everybody, my name is Peter, and I work on Facebook Logging. Today we're going to show you nine ways in which you can improve your app's Facebook Logging conversion rate. Uh, but first, let's talk a little bit about the benefits of using Facebook Logging. So we like to think of Facebook Logging as the fast, secure, and preferred way for people to sign in for your app. Rather than make your users uh, fill out long sign-up forms or have to remember another username and password, Logging lets them sign into your app with a few simple taps. That's why people log in with Facebook over 850 million times a month. Logging is also used by some of the most popular apps today. But I think what's really interesting is the huge variation in Facebook logging conversion rates across different apps. You know, some apps convert only 20% of their users, while others can convert 70% or above. So let's count down nine best practices for you to reach the 70% or above range. Number one, if you have an iOS or Android app, make sure you use our SDKs. The logging dialogues that can be found in our SDKs are much faster and convert at a much higher rate than a web version of the logging dialog. What's more, we're constantly making improvements to the logging dialogues in your SDKs to make them even better and give you higher conversions. So use our SDKs. Number two, ask only for the permissions that your app needs. Don't be like the app on the left and ask for over 20 different permissions. If a user sees this screen, all they're gonna do is exit out of your app. Instead, you should ask for four or fewer permissions and anything more than that will hurt your conversion rates. Number three, don't show users repeated permission screens. This may seem obvious, but I think some developers believe that if they keep showing users the same screen, people will eventually just give up and click OK. What's more likely is people will get frustrated with your app and again, exit out of your app and never use it, use it again. So let people cancel the login dialog if they want to. Number four, it's very important that you test your login flow for a variety of different scenarios and devices. For example, you should make sure that login works when someone new to your app logs in with Facebook for the first time. When someone who has logged in with Facebook before logs back in. When someone cancels the login dialog or goes into facebook.com and revokes certain permissions for your app and then logs back in with Facebook. And finally, when someone revisits your app when your token has expired. Just remember, a broken Facebook login flow means a broken conversion rate. So make sure you test your login flow. Number five. Make sure you use a clearly branded logging with Facebook button. When people see a clearly branded button, they know exactly what to expect. In contrast, even minor variations in wording or design could confuse or mislead your users. So make sure you use the clearly branded logging with Facebook button. Number six, provide an explicit logout option and make sure that it's easy to find in your app. If people are able to log into your app, they also expect to be able to log out. So make sure you provide a visible logout mechanism. Number seven, and this is very important, make sure you ask for permissions to publish only when people are ready to share in your app. If you ask for permissions to post to Facebook right after you ask for people's information, they have no context on why they should grant you these published permissions. Instead, ask for published permissions when people are ready to share a checking, a status update, or anything else from your app. This will make it much more likely that people will actually accept and grant you these published permissions. Number eight, avoid having a double logging experience. If there is information that your app needs but can't receive through Facebook logging, you can of course ask for it separately. However, you should avoid asking people for to re-enter information that they've already granted through Facebook, such as their gender, their age, or anything else. You should also avoid having a secondary password if at all possible. And finally, make sure you show people who they're logged in as. Even something as simple as showing a person's profile picture will make them feel much more at home in your app and drive up their engagement rate with your app. So we've covered nine best practices for you to optimize your Facebook logging conversion rate. To learn more about these best practices, you can visit our Facebook logging checklist on our Facebook developers portal. Thank you for working with us to make logging a fast and secure sign-up experience.